early that year. It might have been the day of the State of the Union, in fact. Um, she prepared, she was preparing for this big push in the year ahead. She said, the subject of beautification is like tangled skeins of wool. All threads are interwoven. Recreation and pollution and mental health and the crime rate and rapid transit and highway beautification and the war on poverty. It all leads to something else. Whew. I mean, this was a big agenda uh, that she had in mind. And she worked on those things over the course of her life. She toiled constantly to surround us with beauty uh, believing that ugliness is so grim, a little beauty, something that is lovely, I think helps create harmony which will lessen tensions. We certainly see that here in our nation's capital, uh, where her hundreds, hundreds of thousands uh, of flowers and trees and bulbs. I mean, I, when she came up and won the President's Medal of Freedom, uh, I did a piece about it, and I, at that point, had counted up the numbers, and it was, you know, tens of thousands of azaleas, and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of bulbs, and you know, and tens of thousands of trees, and and it, every spring, uh, when everything comes into profusion, we all look around and say, "Thank you, Lady Bird Johnson," and I do think that our tension fades away a little bit in the face of all of those beautiful blooms. And then there are, as bad as the billboards still are, there are the unexpected bursts of wildflowers along the highways. And they're such a treat um, to come upon. You know, we, we drive um, to South Carolina a few times a year down the dread 95, um, but you know, you know, there'll be the south of the border billboard over there with its totally politically incorrect message. Um, but, but in the median, there'll be bachelor buttons. And, uh, and they will distract you, uh, maybe from the driving, but also from the billboards because they're so pretty. And I'll be saying to Steve all the way, look at those flowers, look at those flowers, because they really do uh, bring joy. And they do make uh, the whole trip an easier trip, a better trip. Um, so just because we can't do it all, uh, and I know you'll be talking about, you've been talking about that, and I know you'll be talking about it some more, it doesn't mean that you don't do what you can. I always think that saying, just saying the problem is too big is a cop-out. Uh, that you do what you can, where you can, when you can. And, you know, and then try to do more if you can, but do what you can, because every little bit of beauty makes a difference. Uh, as Mrs. Johnson wrote, even in the poorest neighborhoods, you can find a geranium in a coffee can, a window box set against the scaling side of a tenement, a border of roses struggling to live in a tiny patch of open ground where flowers bloom, so does hope. It's that hope we're celebrating in Lady Bird's legacy today. Thank you so much for letting me share.